Luke, guess what came? I can't even believe it. Come on. Look. Somebody, let me show you. <gasps> Look, oh, my. it's the elf in the shelf. Don't touch him. You know who that is? Yeah, what do you think? <gasps> elf in the shelf came, Leon. Yeah? Are you happy you came to our house? about that elf. dengue fever I think she has dengue fever she said she's been sick first she's told me she had Zika which I didn't know they had Zika in Thailand but I've had dengue fever before it's all a mosquito Zika dengue there's Zika there's dengue there's chicken gunya 
and it's a mosquito related illness and it's so horrible. I've never felt as sick as when I had dengue fever. I was in the hospital for a couple days, but they, the secret remedy and it worked for me when I got out of the hospital, I had this horrible rash on my legs and I took papaya leaf extract, which I found this cure online. Some Indian guy was muddling it up. So I'm gonna bring her some dengue. So I'm gonna bring her some papaya leaf. This stuff tastes so bad. It is so bitter. But if you're feeling sick, it's worth it. Dengue fever is a hemorrhagic fever and it, create, it causes your blood platelets to go really low and this papaya leaf increases your blood platelet level. When I had it, I had to have two blood transfusions. Blood platelet transfusions, not with real blood. Some people in India take this. Well, <laughs> that's some people in India. <laughs> I saw a video of a guy on, in India making this for his kids and he mixed honey with it and he took, takes it every week as a preventative. So you can take this as a preventative because it'll keep your blood plate level high, which means if you get dengue, you're not gonna get sick from it. So might as well just take a shot. I didn't mix any honey with this. Goosebumps, goosebumps, goosebumps. <laughs> Nam, you wanna try some? No. Come on, Nam, it's good for you. <laughs> the pro it lingers. Come on, Nam. <laughs> Come on, Nam. <laughs> <laughs> the, mos the mosquitoes are more bad because it's monsoon season and they, they lay mosquitoes come out because of water like still water they lay their eggs in still water so like because it's raining season i guess pools of still water gather you know like buckets anything water gets stuck the the mosquitoes lay their eggs and supposedly dengue like the mosquitoes come out like sun sunrise sunset that's when the mosquitoes come out and dangerous But I sleep quite well. Oh, that's so good. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, you killed me. Yes. What were you thinking? That, I love to do that. Really? Yes. I mean, I guess it's the only way you could make game, right? Yes. You never look good like this, believe me. <laughs> Did you have fun last night? Yes, fun. very good. I'm doing a prayer night. Love my restaurant every Tuesday. Ricardo is... So dedicated. I really appreciate that. I think it was powerful too. It's good to be able to share, like when you meet in a small group. I, I really feel better after something like this. Yeah. Where two or more are gathered, he's there. Leon? Did the elf move? Or has he been quiet? Did he move? What's that smell? It smells like... Chaom? Hmm? What is that? Chaom? I knew it! <laughs> is this it? This is Chaom. I always thought that I wanted an open kitchen where my kitchen is right connected to the living room. But since being married to a Thai man, actually just in the last few months, I realized how great it is 
to have the kitchen separate so when they're cooking food that is pungent astringent fishy smelling you can just shut the door and try to keep the rest of the house not from smelling so bad whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, Mom? <laughs> this is my lunch. This is the first meal of my day. I have this Wagyu beef burger patties, which I've been eating so much of recently. I just get into kicks with things. I just want to eat the same thing until I get sick of it. And then I have some roasted vegetables, avocado. I just cut up a bunch of vegetables, put some olive oil, salt, pepper, a little lemon juice, and roast them in the oven. They're so good. And easy. <laughs> Get the board for Leon. Huh? Aww. Yeah, really? See? I see you, Lila. <laughs> It's my friend Jamie's birthday and we had our prayer. She was part of my prayer group with last night with Ricardo and I wanted to make her a cake today. I know I've been making a lot of cakes. I didn't really film myself making. I'm making another cake today. I'm embarrassed to say it, but it's because it's my friend Jamie's birthday and so I wanted to make her a cake. Like that's love that's friendship right and she came to my prayer meeting last night and she's been so dedicated to coming to my prayer meetings you know when you start something like that like it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy <laughs> what do you think Nam? <laughs> Nam, Nam laughs and she doesn't even know what i'm talking about i am going to show you my frosting recipe i have my softened butter i have some chocolate ganache that i just made Gosh, that's so good, Nam. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> oh, my God, you're not supposed to take it. Is that good? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. You feel the best yeah. So I baked this cake using the same recipe of Luke's birthday, but I cut back the ingredients because I didn't want it to be so big. And this time it actually had more liquid in it, which made it softer and more moist. So it really tasted wonderful. To add even more moisture to this cake, I have made coffee, milk, and sugar mix, and I'm just brushing it on in between the layers. The frosting is a buttercream frosting and after eating it, I think I actually added a little bit too much frosting, so next time I would cut back on the, the thickness of the frosting between each layer. Your friend give you birthday presents? Yeah. Wow. Guess whose birthday it is today? Birthday. What? Jamie's. Jamie's birthday. And I made her a cake, a, a chocolate, How old is a chocolate coffee cake. How old is it? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I hate. I hate. I hate. Why is this one? We're gonna write Jamie on that. It's a box. We have to clean off. Mm -hmm. Does it taste too much coffee? No. Is it good? Why is it good? I need more coffee. You like that? Mm -hmm.
just realized my bag is the same color as Treehouse colors. Hey! Happy birthday! You look so nice. You look so good. Oh, thanks. Well, you know, it's her birthday, so I wanted to get all stuffed out, you know. Really?